Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm your host RT and today we're going to be talking about the CRT rabbit hole. Now what do I mean by that? Basically when you get a CRT most people they either get it for retro gaming, they're speed runners, and not so much to watch TV anymore. I mean it's 2024 so generally you see a CRT TV it's for retro gaming. Now the rabbit hole means you first buy a CRT and then you start doing more stuff with and before you know you end up like me if you look back there with a bunch of CRTs that you probably don't even play anymore, okay? So without further ado, let's get started on my journey of the CRT rabbit hole and what I've learned. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at the TVs we got. Now these are all CRT TVs. And for those who don't know, generally CRTs are made to play retro games and pretty much that's about it. Nobody really watches TV. Some people will watch HD versions on HD TVs, but most people just play games on them nowadays. So most times when you start, you get a TV like this, okay? You get a small one, maybe you might get lucky and get one like this. And usually, when you first buy a CRT, even if you're somebody who's new to CRTs, let's say you've been playing, you're younger and you've been playing, and you play an old retro console on here in 240p, you're going to be blown away by the signal. There's nothing else like it. Same thing if you're an older guy like me, you haven't played CRTs in a while, and then you got back into CRTs and maybe like in the mid 2010s, somewhere in that ballpark, you, I was blown away at least by the picture, you know. 240p picture does nothing like with the motion and the clarity is an awesome experience and before I start this off I want to say CRTs are awesome and this is just my personal journey into the CRT rabbit hole okay so when I first got it I started off like everybody else I ended up getting a CRT playing a retro console I think I found it on the side of the curb or went to the you know flea market and got it 10 bucks or just somebody just gave it to me so everybody starts off with something like this right and it's great Initially, you can play like your retro consoles and you're having a good time, but let's be real, we're all gamers. So eventually you're like, okay, this is cool. I wanna elevate and do, what else can I do with my CRT? I wanna bring my CRT up, I wanna do more stuff. So maybe you say, well, I wanna play my computer on my, on my CRT, right? So you get the CRT and maybe you try to hook your computer to it. Well, obviously we know standard definition CRT, it's not gonna accept HDMI. So you're out there. Then you say, well, I got an old PC, you know, that has VGA, but that's not gonna accept it either. So what do you do? You're an idiot like me, you go out and buy this guy, okay? Now this one right here, these three, this one, this one, and this one, these are all CRT monitors, and they're from the mid 90s. I had one from the 80s, but I got rid of it. And this one's a little newer, but they're generally like mid 90s when it came out. And on the back of them, they all have this, a VGA output, okay? So now you say, well, okay, I got a computer. I got a CRT. I'm gonna play Call of Duty with this crappy ass skill-based matchmaking. I'm gonna play it on this. So you say, I got a CRT, I got a computer. Well, then you try to hook it up and you find out that the VGA is not gonna go into the modern video cards. Modern video cards don't have that signal anymore. Only they only have usually HDMI 2.0, display port or something like that. So you're out of luck there. But if you're like me, you do have an old computer and you try to hook up, hook it up and it will hook up because it has a, a VGA port on the back of the video card. The problem you run into is now, okay, I can hook a computer up, but the graphics card is so old, it's not gonna run modern games, okay? It's gonna run anything with probably Windows XP maybe, if you're lucky, uh, Windows Vista. Oh, Vista, what a crappy system. But it'll run Vista and as we know, that's not gonna run modern gaming today. You're not playing Elden Ring on Windows Vista. It's just not happening. I mean, you can hack maybe and make it do it, but naturally it's not gonna run, okay? So you're out of luck, but it's not all doom and gloom with this, okay? You say, okay, well, I can do something else with it. I can play uh, old emulators on it, okay? So yeah, true, you can. You can play old, an old emulator on here on an old Windows Vista computer and you can be all right. But then the factor comes in, you go deeper into the rabbit hole because you're like, okay, I can play it, but look at the screen size. It's like. 15, 17 inches. Now you can opt for one of those more expensive ones like the 20 inch uh, Sony, but now you're looking at thousands of dollars just for, just to play it a little bigger, you know? So now you're deeper into the rabbit hole because you're like, well, I don't want to do that, but wait, it gets better. The size is the problem here and the crappy computer you play on it. So what do you do? You go out and get one of these, okay? Now these right here on the back, that's 20 inch, 20 inch, 25. They all do the same thing. This one's straight standard definition. It just has uh, composite. These two Sony Wegas, uh, Trinitrons, they have component on the back. 
So you say, okay, well, I got this crappy computer. I wanna play emulators, but I wanna play on this bigger TV. So what do you do? I want a bigger screen, 20 inch, 25 inches, respectable. They're still a little heavy, but they're not ridiculous. You can still kind of move these around on your own. So you go ahead and get that set up, but you find out how can, I, st I still run into that problem that I ran into with the first TV because I can't put VGA on there, but there's a solution for that. You can get a VGA converter. So a composite or even a component sometimes where you get a VGA signal, if whatever, whatever you're trying to play VGA on your old computer, and you can actually hook it up to that. The problem lies in that this is not a monitor, okay? It's a TV. So usually those crappy converters are gonna to convert to this screen, the colors are gonna be off. Now you can adjust it, fair enough, but it's not gonna work like it's supposed to. The screen resolution is gonna be off. You're gonna have either a wide screen, some of the screen clipped, and you gotta go in and set all that. So now you're like, well, that's not good enough, okay? Because we're gamers, we want the best, right? So now we're deeper in the rabbit hole because we're like, okay, we got the old crappy computer and we got this set up, but now we're, we want a better picture, right? So you say, okay, well, what can I do with this TV now? Not all loss. I can get a, a HDMI converter or I can put this into an arcade machine, right? Because I've tried that. I've tried to put the, try to save face, put them in an arcade machine. So you try to put it in an arcade machine, but you hook it up, you get the VGA, mon uh, VGA adapter, you plug it in. Let's say you got like a, a Pandora box that accepts HDMI or accepts uh, VGA out. You hook it up, you play it in your, uh, first of all, these cases are heavy, okay? This thing's not gonna fit inside my arcade machine over here. It's just not gonna fit. Um, I'd have to take the case off, risk getting this thing blown up, getting shocked. Most people just aren't gonna do that. They're gonna get a, generally it's coming with CGA, not VGA, but CGA. Old arcade monitors had CGA and it had a clear picture, clear pixel, perfect picture, and they were commercial grade. This is a consumer grade. This is not commercial grade. So you try to put in your arcade machine anyway, cause you're stubborn like me, you put it in there and the picture looks like complete shit. Okay, you got lag, you got delay input and everything like that. Most people aren't gonna go out and just buy a CGA arcade monitor, commercial grade, because they're hard to find, they're expensive and they're old, you know? And if they break, you gotta find somebody to fix them. You got that thing in the back. So a lot of people won't opt for that. They'll just say, well, I can do this. Or I can try to hook a Raspberry Pi to it. I've tried that We The Pi 2 worked, but now you're deeper in the rabbit hole because the Pi 2 can't run good games. Pi 3 works with a straight, uh, 240p signal but again it runs on uh the graphics aren't that i mean they're good for emulation and some are most arcade games but they're still not great pi 4 you got to rewrite some stuff in the script most people just aren't going to do that okay and you get special cables to connect to the front so it fails as an arcade uh monitor and it fails as playing your retro games with a pc hookup okay without because you're not going to get the accurate colors so now you're deeper in the rabbit hole and you say okay well what I can do though, is I can get this guy. Now this, this is supposed to be the answer to everything, right? This is like the holy grail. Now the difference between this TV and all the others that are CRT televisions, this is actually an HD CRT. And the difference is this thing is putting out an HD signal. These are standard definition, even though if they have the uh, component cables on the back, it's still standard definition. So now all your answers of uh, prayers have been answered. You can have a TV, and this, what makes this TV special, it has an HDMI port on the back. So you got an HDMI port on the back. You have, you know, high definition graphics on your TV. You're good to go, right? Even though this thing's large as an elephant, it's still gonna give you the signal you want, right? So you go get your modern computer, HDMI to HDMI. You plug it in, right? Everything should work like it's supposed to. But deeper into the rabbit hole now, because you find out that yeah, this thing has HDMI 1, 1.0 on it. Everything nowadays runs HDMI 2.0 at a minimum and 2.1 and DisplayPort. But you can still hook it up, okay? You hook it up here and then you find out you're deep in the rabbit hole now because it's still not what you want because you got lag on the TV. These key, it's a CRT. Don't be fooled, think all CRTs don't have lag. Standard definition, you hook standard definition up to it, not so much. You hook your computer up to this, you're gonna get lag. Now, what you can do somewhat is get a, put this on 720p, 720, make it accept 720p. Whatever you hook to it, give it a 720p signal. It's not gonna get as much lag. And then you can go into the service service settings in here, change them around, and then you'll get, it'll be almost on par with no lag, almost. You'll still have a little bit of lag, but you can you can tweak this thing to, to where it'll run. Now, I didn't opt for the, uh, it took me a while to get this thing. I thought all my problems were over when I got this thing. I was totally wrong. For one, I got the four by three 
aspect of this and I didn't get the widescreen, but I was like, whatever, I'll, I'll take this. But when I try to play four by, when I, I take this four by three TV and I try to play modern stuff on it, it's all pushed together, okay? Or if I don't, it's two big black bars on it when I try to put it in 16 by nine mode. And nobody wants to play it like that, right? The picture looks good, but it's not the best because I'm running a 2.0 signal to a, a 1.0 and I'm getting 720. And then the worst part about this TV, what makes it, which really pissed me off was the S, the old SD TV, you try to put 240p in here, okay? Like you would play like Super Nintendo or an old retro console like that. It's gonna look like crap when you hook it to the composite cables and it's gonna lag. When the original TVs didn't, they, they accepted the 240p no problem because this, like I said, is an HD TV. So it's gonna downscale that signal for you to 240p. It's gonna be blurry and ugly. And it's gonna be just like plugging into a modern day LCD with no upscaler. That's what you're gonna get. So. This thing fails at being a high-end, you know, high-def picture for modern-day computer, and it fails as an old retro CRT. It doesn't even do that job well. So it really does a little bit of everything, but everything, but everything it does is not great. It fails at everything. And now you're into you've always you tried all these things, all this stuff with your TVs. And the sad part is, at the end, you're like, well, and then let's say you get, let's say you somewhat satisfied with this. Look how big it is. This thing is like a beast. I cannot pick this up by myself. And I'm not, I'm not a small guy, but I can't pick this up by myself. If I have to, let's say you get it running, all the settings tweaked in it. Where are you gonna put it? You're not gonna be sitting in front of it with a, you know, mouse and keyboard playing. That, that's just not doesn't make sense. You have to get like cinder blocks to put this thing on. That's why I just keep it on the floor. It's too freaking heavy for me to put anywhere. That's practical. So, I mean, it, even if it runs, now you're sitting right in front of this big 32 inch, or this, this one's, yeah, I think it's 32, 32 inch TV, you're sitting in front of it, and it's as heavy as all get out. You're scared to death that's gonna break whatever you're on. It's too heavy, it's not practical, you can't move it. Just can't do it. So, you're asking, you say, RT, I want something that's gonna give me the blacks, okay? The good blacks, like all these CRTs do. I want something that's gonna give me zero lag or close to zero lag, like the CRTs do. And why can't I have something that is, you know, light enough where it's not gonna crush my desk and break my legs if it breaks through my desk? What do I do? Where do I get all that? And then you realize that all it took initially was a scaler or an upscaler, I should say, like a retro tink or OSSC, and probably the display that you're watching my video on. If you have a you know an OLED TV and an upscaler, you already do all that. So essentially you had all the equipment more than likely or close to it to do with, with, with the exception of the upscaler to try to do all the things you wanted to accomplish on here. That's crazy. All the stuff you want to do with this that you could probably already do if you just bought an upscaler in the beginning. So don't, don't get me wrong though. It is fun. It is fun to tinker with the CRTs. I think every per, every gamer should have at least one or two CRTs, a small one, a mid-grade one, mid-sized one, and maybe one of these, but and that's just what I found. I mean, there's other tunnels, there's other videos with people digging more tunnels into the rabbit hole, but it started with something small. And as gamers, we always wanna stack, stack, make things better and better because we deserve it. We're gamers and we want the best out of our equipment. So we're gonna, but you get into this long rabbit hole, you end up with all these TVs that you're not gonna use and you're lucky to still be married unless you got a cool wife like I do. So that's just what it is guys. So, I mean, they're fun though, don't get me wrong. They are, they, I do enjoy my CRT TVs. So pretty much guys, that wraps it up with the video for today. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought about CRTs. If you're new to CRTs, uh, if you've had one for years, if you've gone, you're like me and gone down the rabbit hole or you've gone even further down the rabbit hole and still digging and you're like, okay, well, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna get the perfect CRT. The takeaway here is there is no perfect CRT. They all do certain things well. They're all different and they all do certain things well. Um, but there's a reason we got rid of these. And honestly, today's uh, technology, of OLED is pretty much on par. If you got an OLED and a great scale, like a Tink uh, 4X or Tink 5X even, you can get similar picture, a similar picture and response time that you would get with these old CRT TVs. So hope you liked the video guys. Uh, please consider a subscription, a like, smash that notification bell, and let me know in the comments what you thought about the CRT TVs. And as always, Take care of yourself, protect your inner peace, and I'll catch you on the next one.